Alright, so, uh, this is how you tell a fake Gucci belt from a real Gucci belt. Um, the real ones have, uh, this thing right here. The, the thing that you look for is this, and it's kind of like, it has a leathery feel. That's what you need to check for. Um, also, when you feel the real Gucci belt, like, uh, you can feel the ridges on the belt. If you can't feel the ridges, it's you have a fake. And uh, if the color comes off, like if the color comes off of this, it's a fake. Um, also, when you look at the look at the edges, it has to be perfectly attached. Like if there's any threads coming out, any threads loose, anything like that, have a fake. Uh, look for the stamp. I'm sure the stamp. Uh, Stamp says Gucci. The fake ones have the stamp. Um, it's just they don't have the serial number isn't accurate. You can look up the serial number on the Gucci website. And the fake ones have have the uh, stamp. Most of them do, but they don't have the the serial number doesn't match. Um, another thing you can look for is. The smell, like when you get it, if it smells like plastic or whatever, um, and it feels like plastic, then it's a fake. But the number one thing that I look for is the ridges. Like when you feel the ridges, the fake ones don't really have it. And when you look at the size, there's threads loose, like the color, um, like the color diminishes, and you could tell this fake. And another thing that I recommend is never buy a belt without a receipt like mine. I have a receipt for mine. I'll show you guys in a second. But if you buy a Gucci belt or any designer belt, always make sure the buyer has a receipt or a dust bag. Like me, you see right here. Have the receipt for it. Store right here it says Gucci. And there's the receipt for it. Always buy buy one without a receipt. Usually the fake ones, um, they don't have a receipt. They don't have a dust bag. And if they don't have a receipt or a dust bag, just tell them how how much you pay for it. I normally if I buy a belt secondhand, I buy mine brand new. Obviously, um, I always want to buy the ones that have the receipt or the dust bag and the certificate of authenticity uh, most of the fakes don't also another thing you need to look out for is the design that I have right now is the newest design that Gucci made the white on the edges with, with the Gucci matchings in the middle uh, this is the newest one that Gucci made like this is I haven't I haven't seen a lot of fakes. There might be fakes out there, but I haven't seen a fake version of this one. There is the fake version of the black one and the um other the brown one, the brown Gucci. But this one I hardly seen any fakes. This I had for a while, like I had it for a couple of years. It's worn out. Another thing about the Gucci belts is like you could take it to the store and they'll repair it for you. I gotta take mine in. But what you need to look for is another thing you need to look for is the little ridge right here. I don't know if you see it. Fake ones don't have that. Like if you see that little ridge right there, fake ones don't have it. Most of them don't have the band. Um, and the the G logo, the the double G logo, the Gucci logo, it's kind of heavy. And it has that hold on that middle sound. If you can hear it, it's kind of heavy. Like when you hold it in hand, it's heavier than the fake one. Um, but there are really good fakes out there. It's just after you've had them for a couple of weeks or like a couple of months, they're done. Like you can't wear them anymore, and the color starts fading. Um, it just starts looking lousy, and it doesn't last you that long. Like, the difference between the real and the fake isn't that much anyways. Fakes usually go for like a hundred. 
I bought this for 350 and I've had it for years. Um, I also have a Hermes belt, but I've had this one for years. Alright, I gotta go.